When I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with scoliosis for the first time. I remember being shocked, scared, and I felt like a victim who'd just been given a bad hand. I was given two options. The first option was to get scoliosis surgery, which I was quite opposed to considering this is my first time hearing of scoliosis, so why would I randomly want to get surgery? Like, I had to think about it a bit more. But then I was given a second option. The second option was to get a back brace, which I knew nothing about, but to me, in the moment of being scared, it did seem like the best option. When I put on my back brace for the very first time, I could not see how I could possibly go on wearing it. It was the most uncomfortable thing I've ever experienced, and I didn't even have it on that tie. When I was first adjusting to my back brace, I remember watching Game of Thrones and trying to distract myself in a form of escapism whilst wearing it. I remember just putting it on. I only had to wear it for 30 minutes, and the 30 minutes were just it was so uncomfortable. Eventually in my back brace transitioning journey, I made it to 23 hours, which was the ideal mark for optimal results. And when I got to this 23 hour mark, probably about a week after wearing it for 23 hours a day, after already completing my transitioning phase, the back brace, it wasn't as bad as what it once was. I could actually bear it. It wasn't comfortable, but it was bearable. So I tied the back brace as tight as I like possibly could without suffocating. And I could breathe, like I couldn't take a whole deep inhalation, but I could most definitely get enough. Eventually I found out I had my back brace so tight that I was jeopardizing my hip and I could have rotated my hip because I had the back brace on so tight. Then my back brace specialist suggested that we cut the bottom part of the back brace off so it doesn't squeeze my hip. This allowed me to more comfortably tighten my back brace. Because I had set out to do the best I could for my spine, I wore the back brace 23 hours a day for two years. I had reached skeletal maturity, and from my understanding, once you've reached skeletal maturity, the back brace doesn't serve you of much good. So then I had a transitioning period where I'd only wear it at night time, and then I eventually got out of it. I want you to know, if you've been diagnosed with scoliosis and you have access to back bracing, consider yourself to be lucky because the back brace is here to help you. I know it's uncomfortable, it feels terrible, but you have to just accept sacrificing the present for the future. It's for you, it's for the greater good of your life, it's not against you, you should commit to it and capitalise off of this great opportunity you have. I know it's uncomfortable, you're not alone. I just want to provide you a reflection. So, I've been out of my back brace since, I believe, late 2022. It's now the start of 2024 and I'm really proud of myself. If I was to have made different decisions and to have slacked on my back brace because it was uncomfortable, I'd be really upset with myself now because I would have had to get surgery. My spine would be in a much worse position than what it is now. But because I persevered through those two years wearing it 23 hours a day, as tight as I possibly could, I now have a good spine result. I still have scoliosis in my lumbar curve, but I no longer have a thoracic curve. And I'm fit and healthy, and my scoliosis doesn't even bother me. But if I was to have made the poor decision of not committing to my back brace, I'd be in a really bad position, and I'd be very upset with my past decisions of not wearing the back brace. But fortunately, I took the right path of committing to the back brace, and I highly advise you do the same. When it came to eating in a back brace, I found that eating small was the best thing I could possibly do, because if you eat too much in a back brace, your stomach's going to expand and you're going to have lots of restrictions because of the back brace squeezing you so tight. So when it comes to eating, I do highly recommend that you eat in smaller servings. During the one hour a day where I'd have a break from my back brace, two habits which served me well was going for walks because that would get my core working to such a minimal degree. But when you're in a back brace, your core becomes so weak. So for you to just do the lightest exercise of just going for a basic walk without a back brace supporting your spinal stabilization, that serves you quite well. I also recommend you go to a physiotherapist and get tailored exercises fitted for you. One philosophy which has deeply resonated with me is stoicism. Stoicism is a practice which emphasizes focusing on what's within your control. So what's within your control if you have scoliosis is committing to your treatment plans as best you can. So committing to your back brace, surgery, whatever it be. So that's focusing on what's within your control, right? then what's not within your control is having scoliosis, right? You're born with scoliosis. It's unfortunate, it sucks, you're not alone, but it is what it is, you can't control that. So it doesn't serve your mind any good to just dwell on it and go, oh no, I have scoliosis, oh no, this is bad in my life, oh no, I'm so helpless. That attitude doesn't serve you any well. So 
Stoicism places an emphasis on focusing what's within your control. A quote that perfectly encapsulates this Stoic essence is by a Roman emperor, Marcus Aurelius, from like 2,000 years ago. It goes, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Yeah, so that goes back to what I was previously saying. Like, you have power over your mind, not outside events. And if you really focus on what's within your control and you stop dwelling on the things you can't control, you will find strength. You're going to achieve your best outcome by just locking in your focus to what you actually have control over. I hope this video served you well. I tried my best to give all the important information I possibly could. If you have any questions, I highly advise you join the Discord link down below where I'll try and help you as best as I possibly can. If you're interested in self-improvement, achieving all of your goals, whether that's physical, mental, whatever it be, join my movement by subscribing and if you were to like this video, I'd appreciate that too. But what means the most to me is that I provided you value and hopefully you feel welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.